I'm here with Yoko, owner of Shoko Iku, a raw organic cafe and food store. Thank you so much for having me here. You're welcome. This looks amazing. Yoko, you're going to make me something, aren't you? Yes, so we're going to be doing a chia pudding parfait. So we have the chia pudding soaking already mm -hmm. in coconut milk. And we're going to be making like a frozen ice cream by just using bananas and frozen raspberry. And we're going to top that up with um, chopped nectarine. It's in season at the moment. It's beautiful. And we're making some coconut oil chocolate sauce. It's really chocolate easy. Chocolate sauce? Yeah. Yum. That all sounds incredible. But I can't believe that we're making a chocolate sauce. We're making a, like an ice cream. We're making a pudding. And it's all raw. What really is raw food? It sounds to me a lot more than just say carrot sticks and celery sticks. Yeah, carrot sticks and celery sticks is, I suppose, the basic raw food. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that. But then we can make pizza, we can make lasagna, we can make a wrap, we can make wow. brownies, we can make a totally like amazing chocolate cake. So Yoko, what's the first step in your chia seed parfait? What's the first layer? So chia seed has been soaking in coconut oil mm -hmm. and sweetened with stevia. Okay, so we'll just grab this. Yep, yeah, and you can put some in the glass. Beautiful. So Yoko, tell me what led you to the opening of Raw Food Cafe? First met motivation would be when I was pregnant with Layla, my daughter. So that was about 11 years ago now. So I wanted to eat healthy for myself and for Layla. Um, and then I tried different diets. I tried macrobiotic and studied holistic nutrition and then that opened the door to raw food. About 10 years ago, there was not many places that, that you raw could, food. or like healthy food, maybe yeah. organic food and things yeah. like that. And I could not really take Layla, my daughter, to anywhere feeling safe and yeah. comfortable. So I wanted to open a place like that. So that, you know, lots of people who can, who feel like they need something else, then you come to this place yes. and be inspired. Oh, it's beautiful and it kind of reminds me of myself as yeah. well because I've just had a baby and yeah. this is kind of the path that she's kind of led me on this path as well, mm. wanting to eat healthy and be healthy. So Yoko, I might get you to do the next layer, which I think is an ice cream. Yeah, just using banana, frozen bananas and the frozen raspberry. You can use any other, you know, berries or any other fruits if you like. So I'm just going to put them in the thermomix. But you can use a food processor or you can use a blender as well, whatever it works. So really all it is is frozen banana and berries, two yep. ingredients and we're making luscious creamy ice cream. That's right. Okay, you will love this texture. Oh wow, oh wow, look at that. It's beautiful. Can I have a taste? Yeah. <laughs> mm. So if you don't want to do like many layers, you can only, you know, you can just do ice cream, serve it with brownies or cookies or anything like that. That looks incredible mm, already. I mean, so like good. you eat with your eyes and just looking at that, oh my God, I just yeah. want to eat it all. So Yoga, what are the benefits of eating raw food? When you don't apply heat to the food, you're keeping all the enzymes and vitamins and minerals and things like that. That's the whole point of um, eating raw food. And it gives you energy and you're not destroying it or you're not altering any compounds in food. So you're getting loads of energy from eating raw food, but do you think it's better for you than eating cooked food? When you're eating raw food, the most beneficial thing is that you're avoiding all the processed food. So you're going back to the nature, just the whole carrots and the whole bananas and you know the nothing, nothing alters in the factory. So that's the first, you know, I think the reason yeah. to go raw food. So Yoko, do you think eating raw food, just raw food, is for everyone? Most people would benefit from eating more raw food or going to real food. But it doesn't have to be 100%. And eating more unrefined and cooking from scratch or uncooking from scratch is more important than like worrying about is it is this raw or is this not. Yeah. Maybe just in general you could just take that, so saying just less processed food, um, more whole foods and taking care and pride in what you're cooking. Yeah, that's right. And knowledge is really important. So if you do have a knowledge of raw food and then you're not cooking the vitamin C all the time because the heat will you know, destroy vitamin C so you might, you know, sometimes you might cook it and sometimes you might not cook it. Yeah, yeah just on the basis of your knowledge. 
our ice cream is looking like it might be <laughs> melting soon. So how are we going to finish this dish off? Okay, so let's just put um, some nectarines on top of the ice cream, if you can do that for me. Mm, beautiful colours. When I'm cooking, I always look for adding lots of vibrant colour into my dishes. You're not cooking the food, so the colour is just amazing. It's beautiful. Yeah. And the chocolate yep. coconut sauce, how yep. do we so do that? So let's do that. This is melted coconut oil, and we're going to add some cacao powder. Raw cacao powder has more antioxidants than cooked cacao. Mm -hmm. So just mix this through. Mm. And we're adding some sun root sweetener. This is low GI. So Yoko, my last question for you is what are your tips for living a wholehearted life? So of course diet is really important too, but living on purpose and living true to yourself, I think that's the most important thing. You just have fun in yeah. life. Yes, I think that's so important. And this is fun. This is what I call fun. How are we going to finish this off? Let's drizzle some chocolate sauce over the top. It's great because it just hardens just on the ice cream. Here you go. Oh, that is absolutely stunning. It looks beautiful. Very few ingredients, which is what I love about it. It's simple, anyone can do it at home. And it's from your heart. Thank you so much, Yoko, for spending a little bit of time with me and sharing your thoughts about raw food. Thank you, Danny. Mm. Um.